Hey everyone, it's me Gemma Stone at TarotyHealing.com. I hope you guys are doing really well. This is a weekly general reading and I'm going to be using the Guardian Angel Tarot deck by Dorian Virtue which is this really kind of cute, sweet kind of deck. It's meant to be really sensitive so there's no sort of scary imagery and stuff in this deck which I think is, is nice. It's, it's definitely a really pretty kind of deck. Um, so, this reading will be for the week beginning the 28th, I believe, yes, of um, November to the 4th of December. And the very first card that has shown up is 16. And I feel like I'm going to go through the cards first and then give my own interpretation. Because, you know, this card, these cards, but this deck gives its own interpretation of each of the cards. And so this one would actually traditionally be the tower card, but as you can see here, it has this really lovely, pleasant, not so scary spin on the tower, which can be a quite frightening card for most people to see uh, in a reading. But um, yeah, so the card is number 16, and it says, out with the old and in with the new. It says, heaven is showing you a sign that it's time to move in a new direction. Often this is because you're not happy and feel a lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake-up call to make changes that match your heart's desire and spiritual truth. And then we have the second card, which is Messenger of Abundance. Okay, and it says, Wonderful news regarding your career, a new job, a promotion, or acceptance into an excellent school comes into your life. You feel ready to do something that's challenging and fulfilling. This situation may involve someone who's fun to be around, sometimes mischievous. This person, who may be you, is youthful, optimistic, and very clever. And then the last card, or we can say the like out of the, this would be the third one. I probably will look at the one underneath the deck as well. Um, so this one is the seven of abund oh emotions, not abundance. Seven of Emotions, and it says, Your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It's like you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating, so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance, and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. That's interesting. I mean, going by the interpretations that's on Yes, on the cards themselves. It kind of looks like, um, for some of you guys, it could be that an opportunity comes to you, especially with the messenger of abundance being in the middle. So it could present like an opportunity coming to you, but it's kind of seeing if you're ready for this new opportunity. The tower can definitely bring about, um, you know, a shake up in your situation. Um, things happen very suddenly when a tower shows up, so it could be like a sudden windfall, it could be a sudden, you know, sudden unexpected news, something that wasn't exactly planned, but then at the same time, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, um, because, you know, none of the, the decks, none of the cards in the deck really signify only bad or only good. It is all dependent on dependent on your circumstances at the time, and obviously the cards that show up alongside it so being that the two other following cards aren't so you know scary or um it's kind of showing that whatever it is yeah you may not exactly be ready for it but there's so many opportunities that come to us when we feel like we're not ready and i think in actuality um the universe doesn't give us anything that we're not in a position to really accept or deal with the only thing is that sometimes these experiences may be completely new to us completely different to us and so because of that, it might take us outside of our comfort zone, but it doesn't mean that you cannot prepare yourself, you know, at the time, in the moment, to be able to be fit for the purpose that you're supposed to serve right now in this situation. So I kind of feel like if for any of you guys, something is happening in your life that kind of makes you scared, makes you worried, makes you really concerned, and, and it wasn't expected, it's kind of just an opportunity for you to just be able to really show what you're made of and really be able to take control over the situation. Now, the difficult thing with the tower is that you can feel like things are happening outside of your control and it's really difficult for you to kind of gain a grasp on things. But um, I would say at the same time, 
uh, we do have a choice in the matter and we can obviously decide on how we're going to best uh, approach the situation so that you know we have the best results and the best outcome for ourselves and I think that's the most important thing in this situation and with the message of abundance this card just brings about you know all that is good so yes it could be something that brings you out of your comfort zone but it may have something profitable in it that for you um a, again it could be an opportunity that is very lucrative it could be something where maybe you do have to take a chance on a certain situation like maybe it's an investment in something that you're kind of thinking you know well what is the payoff going to be do i actually know if this is going to work out and all that kind of stuff i always feel that i you know i would never just encourage people to just you know just take a, a blind risk i always believe in in being cautious um with any uh, risk that you decide to take you know measuring up you know how um you know what you know what you're actually what the stakes are basically if the stakes are like well too high and you just feel like okay this is just too much for me to sacrifice or whatever else then you know you have to be very careful in the choice that you decide to make in that situation not to say that it can't pay off but then at the same time you have to be prepared for you know a shortfall as well so it's just about really thinking things through and you know knowing again what it is that you're prepared to either risk or gamble or take a chance on right now so that's what i would say with that card um the seven of emotions is kind of one where in this more traditional uh interpretation which would be the seven of cups it can represent being a bit confused about certain situations having too many options too many things presented to you and not being very clear on maybe even what is really expected to, of you or what the situation really holds so it's kind of one of them things where this card also can be a bit like of a daydreamer card where you may not be seeing the full picture or you may be sold something that sounds really amazing but it may not exactly be all what it seems so with this card i would definitely say um it is about being very realistic I think I would say that's the biggest thing, being very realistic with choices and decisions that you decide to make, making sure you have all the facts and all the information you need before um, getting involved in anything. And, um, and even though it may be good to be in a kind of dreamy state sometimes, um, because this card can also be connected with your imagination and things like that, which if you do like more creative works can actually be a good thing. Um, but then at the same time, I would say if you're trying to make a clear and concise decision, this card can sometimes represent feeling a bit confused or a little bit muddled up um, at this time. So I would say, you know, take your time with that kind of thing. Um, I also feel guided to reread this card again. It says your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It's like you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. So I think that is actually really great advice um, to give, especially, like I said, uh, because of the more traditional meaning. I feel like the, the card is actually providing more advice um, to help you through the situation versus just what uh, this card uh, signifies in the traditional tarot. So that's really nice. Um, let's see what the card underneath the deck is just for fun. And it's eight of action, which will be the eight of wands in the traditional tarot. And it says there's so much going on right now that it may feel overwhelming for you. And yet it's wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love. It's Express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time, even if life feels challenging. If you've asked to travel or take a flight and take a flight, then do so with confidence. So that's a really nice card to finish on, actually, because this card, you know, does sort of make things more positive and sort of makes things more lighter when it shows up in a reading because it shows that good things are happening around you. Good news is coming your way things are falling into place for you but again it's a it's a fast moving card just like the tower is a very sudden card this is a fast moving one so it's very action orientated and things are happening at a quick pace so again it, sometimes you may feel like you don't have enough time to think things through and I, and I guess that's where the confusion can kind of come in so it's kind of saying um even though in one of the cards it was saying about being about procrastinating and stuff like that 
Um, I would say for those of you that feel like you are procrastinating when it comes to certain important decisions, um, I think this reading is kind of giving you the kick up the bum and saying, okay, you have to make a choice now at some point. But then at the same time, I would think that if this week something is happening suddenly and you feel like you have to make a sudden choice, um, it's kind of saying just make sure that you're really seeing all sides to this situation. So at least by the end of it, you know and feel confident in whatever choice you've made by the end of things. However, I don't see it going badly when this card shows up. It's just saying that good is actually happening, which is amazing. <laughs> so nothing bad is really taking place. But it's just a case of you just feeling confident right now and sure of yourself. So peace and many blessings to you guys. 